Hello, today I'm going to work through the answer to the following question, which is how many times does a clock's hands line up during a 24 hour day? Now the obvious answer is that there's 24 hours in a 24 hour day, so the clock's hands must line up 24 times, and unfortunately the obvious answer of 24 is not correct, and I'll show you why. So the first time um, the clock's hands line up is at the beginning of a 24 hour day which starts at 12 midnight and you can see that the the hour hand and the minute hand are both pointing exactly in the same direction towards the 12 and now the next time that those hands line up as I go around so I've already gone through 60 minutes there to one o'clock and they still haven't lined up so if I go around another five minutes or so and line it up they're lining up here, just give that a little adjustment, they're lining up here at about 5 past 1, so they've actually gone through, uh, it's actually been 65 minutes since the last time the hands have lined up, they're lined up at 12, and now the next time they line up at um, 5 past 1, and then the next time they line up, they don't line up at 2 o'clock or 5 past 2, it's actually got to be another 65 minutes, 65 odd minutes, to get them to line up here at around about 11 past 2. And if I go on another 65 minutes to 3.16, then the clock's hands have lined up again at, uh, at 3.16 after another 65 minutes. And then... During, uh, there we go, so clocks, ha uh, minutes and hour hands line up every 65 minutes, actually 65 minutes and 27.3 seconds. And in a 24 hour period, there is 22 lots of 65 minutes and 27 uh, odd seconds. So the usual answer is that the clocks hands line up 22 times in a 24 hour day. Now if I just go close up on this little table, okay, so on this little table it shows you all the times during a 24 hour day that the hour hand and the minute hand uh, line up, or are together or line up. Um, so there we go, it's at uh, 12 midnight, which we saw on the clock, it's at um, 5 past 1, uh, 2.11 in the morning and 3.16 in the morning, so they're all the times that I showed you, and they're all the remaining times in the morning. Uh, the last time is at 10.55 that the uh, hour hand and the minute hand line up. So there's actually 11 times in the morning that the hour hand and the minute hand lined up. And when you go over into the afternoon then, you've got um, lining up at 12 noon, 1.05 p.m. 1.05 in the morning is 1.05 p.m. in the afternoon, 2.11 in the afternoon, 3.16 in the afternoon, just like in the morning. And there's the remaining times down to 10.55. 55 in the evening. Now, um, I guess there's an argument then that um, if a day starts at 12 midnight, and I'll just get the clock and adjust it around to uh, 12 midnight. Okay, so there's an argument then if the day starts at 12 midnight and finishes again 24 hours later at 12 midnight, then you should count the, uh, the first uh, 12 midnight and then also the last 12 midnight when you're counting the times that the clock's hands lined up. So if we go back then to this table, so you can see there that um, there's 22 times that the hands of a clock line up at 10.55 p.m. But if we need to count the, the, last, uh, the last lot, which is at 12 midnight, which is the end of the 24 hour day, then in actual fact, a clock's hands line up 23 times in a 24 hour day. Now this apparently is quite a good uh, interview question where they ask you at the interview you know how many times would a, uh, the uh, clock's hands line up during a 24 hour day and obviously um, you can't just say 22 at the interview or 23 or 24 you've actually got to you know explain your you know, how, how you've come to that uh, conclusion, which is what they're looking for. So in a way, you could argue that it's 22 if you don't cast, count the last uh, midnight, um, 23 if you want to count the last midnight in there as well. But I suppose, um, and I suppose if you say 24, then um, you're probably not really understanding 
how the hands on a clock work there so okay well that's uh, that's it so the answer is probably 23 or it could be 22 just depending on uh, on um, how you argue the case okay well I hope you've uh, enjoyed the video thanks for watching and goodbye for now